Welcome to the Nuremberg TAFE Children's Services section video on the nappy changing procedures. What I'd like to do first is to show you all the equipment that you'll need to do a nappy change effectively and hygienically. It's very important that you collect all your equipment and make sure everything is ready before bringing your baby to the nappy change area. I'll go through each piece of equipment now. Depending on your particular childcare centre, they may use one of two types of nappies. The first you might see is a disposable nappy, and we'll show you how to change a baby using both a disposable and the other form, which is a cloth nappy. If you have a cloth nappy in particular, you will also need a clean pair of pilchers to put on the baby. And you'll need some clean safety pins to do the nappy up with. You'll need some wipes to wipe the baby after taking the, the dirty nappy off. You'll need some latex gloves. And for some parts of the nappy change routine, a clear sandwich glove is sufficient um, to wipe in the nappy change table at the end, but we'll show you that. If you're using cloth nappies, you'll also need a nappy bucket, which is usually filled with some warm water and perhaps a um, sanitising solution to put the cloth nappy into. You need to have a change table to put the baby on and be close to a sink so that you have easy access to wash your hands. Right at the end of the nappy change you'll also require a face washer so that you can clean the baby's hands and face. Before collecting the baby you'll need to wash your hands using the correct hand washing procedure. Once you've washed your hands you need to put on a pair of latex gloves. Once you've got your baby on the change table you need to get the baby undressed. Hello Josh, how are you? I'm going to undress you and we're going to change your nappy. It's very important to always talk to the baby and let the baby know exactly what you are doing. And take off that dirty nappy and put a nice clean one on. This baby's wearing a cloth nappy, so we'll need to remove the pilcher first. and it can be placed in the bucket. I always keep the baby nice and close with its feet against my tummy so that I can feel if there's any movement or the baby might be about to roll. Now undo the pin, being very careful not to let the pin hurt the baby and it can go into our bucket as well. I'm going to take the nappy down now and this is where I collect my wipe. It's very important to use each wipe only once. With girls in particular, it's important to wipe from front to back, making sure that none of the faeces stays on the vagina, which could cause infection. I'll demonstrate now with the baby. So we start at the front and wipe to the back. We need a second wipe, so we're going to get a second wipe to clean the baby. And again, we start at the front and go to the back. And the baby is now completely clean. We're going to take away the cloth nappy and the paper towel, which are potentially soiled. And they're going to go into the bucket. At this point, you're also going to remove your latex gloves. Make sure you start at the wrist and peel backwards. I now need to apply the clear plastic sandwich glove. While I'm doing this, I'm still keeping the baby's feet against my stomach so that if the baby is having any movement, I can feel that immediately. At all other times, when I'm not using two hands to do something, I'm keeping one hand on the baby to make sure the baby doesn't roll away. I now need to collect a clean nappy for the baby. 
face and up the under. And we talk to the baby, yes we do. So he's nice, clean, messy out now. We now need to do up the nappy with our safety pin. And it's important to put your own fingers underneath the cloth of the nappy while you're doing that, making sure that the pin isn't going to go anywhere near the baby's skin. I'm putting the pins in sideways so that if the baby is to bend over or move around suddenly, we're not going to have the pin digging into the baby while they're playing. We now need to put on a clean pair of pilchers. The pilchers are like a plastic underpant and they can stop any leakage from a nappy going onto the child's clean clothes. Don't forget to pull the baby's singlet down. It can be very uncomfortable to have a singlet all scrunched up behind your back and it also is not properly keeping the baby warm if that singlet is all scrunched up. While you're dressing the baby, you should be having a little talk and keeping the baby entertained. You gonna go and play with your friends? Miss Judy Lee's waiting for you, yes she is. Once you've finished that, the last thing we need to do is make sure that our baby goes back to the play area nice and clean. So we're going to take a warm wet face cloth and start by washing the baby's face and cleaning their hands. Because during the nappy change procedure, it's possible that the baby may have touched themselves while you were changing their nappy and could have placed their hands on urine or feces. So we need to, just as we would when we go to the toilet, we need to make sure that their hands are washed. And that dirty face washer can also go into your bucket. The baby's now ready to go back out into the play area. Having my clean, clear plastic gloves on has served two purposes. The first being that I'm prepared just in case, while I had the baby's nappy off, the baby actually urinated a second time. The other reason is that now I need to wipe the change table and it is possible that there could be traces of urine or faeces on the change table. So having these plastic gloves on just provides me some extra protection from infection. I need to clean the nappy change table. I'm going to do this first of all using a disinfectant spray. Spray the table with some paper towel. Wiping down. Another acceptable procedure that a centre might use to clean a nappy change table is to scrub the nappy table down with some warm soapy water. Once again, we're going to use paper towels to dry that. The paper towel will go in the bin, and so will my plastic disposable gloves. Again, peeling back from the wrists. Now I've removed my gloves, I'll wash my hands following the correct hand washing procedure. Once I've completed washing my hands, I can then place a clean paper towel onto the nappy change table. This is an indication to whoever does the next nappy change that the table is clean and ready to use. If you are using a disposable nappy to change your baby instead of cloth, then you follow exactly the same procedure. The only thing to watch out with the disposable nappy is to know which way it goes Look for, sometimes there will be a picture at the front, but not always. Your best bet is to look for these tabs at the back that open and close, and you know that that goes underneath the baby's bottom at the back. That concludes our nappy change video. Thank you for watching.